it's Lee, and as some of you may know, I just got back from a quick trip down to Florida. While I was there, I went to Epcot, and that's really the only Disney park I like, so it's the only one I went to. I had planned to do a souvenirs around the world haul for you today, and I'm still gonna show you the things I bought, but I totally forgot to buy souvenirs in two of the pavilions. The Africa, which isn't really a pavilion, but it's like Africa, and the United States. I didn't buy anything there either. Not true, I bought lunch there, but I didn't buy a souvenir. So I'm still calling this souvenirs around the world, but it's gonna be minus two, so. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm gonna go in order of the countries, starting with Mexico. So let me show you what I picked up at the Mexico Pavilion. I really like sugar skulls, so I thought this was perfect. This is a sugar skull shot glass, and it was $11.99. And isn't it just so pretty? Let me get it in close, and I'm sure you can hear the dogs fighting in the background as per usual. But here it is up close. Perfect for shots of tequila or whatever you like to drink. So anyway, this is what I got in Mexico. The next country around the world showcase is Norway. And I recently found out, well, not that recently, but I found out through Ancestry DNA that I'm 32% Scandinavian, so I had to get something to represent my people. <laughs> so I picked up this t-shirt, and I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but anyway, I'm gonna say Norway is the coolest place in the world, Epcot World Showcase, and then it has some snowflakes on it. Now this is a little more expensive than I had planned. I planned to only spend, you know, like $15 or less per souvenir. This was $32.99, which is crazy for a t-shirt, but I really liked it, so I went ahead and splurged, and since I flew all the way down there anyway, I might as well, you know, spend a little more on something I really like. I'm just, you know, rationalizing it here. I wanted the shirt, I bought the shirt. So this was my souvenir from Norway. The next country on the World Showcase is China. And honestly, I had a really hard time finding anything in the China Pavilion that I wanted. I've been to Epcot a lot of times and I think I've pretty much gotten all the stuff I want out of there. I have a cool wallet and stuff upstairs and you know, I couldn't really find anything I wanted for the longest time. And then I just happened to walk by this jewelry and I found this anklet that I think is really pretty. It says, House of Good Fortune. Everything got a bit crinkled in my suitcase, but it's all fine. I just thought it was really pretty. I like the stone or whatever that is, and I thought it was really pretty. So I picked this up and it was only $6.99, which made it even nicer. So, oops, <laughs> so that's what I picked up in China or the Chinese pavilion. The next country around the World Showcase is Germany. And in Germany, I picked up this cool little beer stein or mug full of German mustard, medium hot. My husband will like this. That's really why I got this, it's for him. And it was $3.95. I also picked up this really cool cuckoo clock magnet, refrigerator magnet. I really like this and it does say, by the way, made in Germany. <laughs> I just thought this was so pretty. They had a couple of them and I like this one the most. And it was $5.95. So let me take this off. So there you go. I just thought it was really pretty. So the next country on the World Showcase is Italy. And I had a really hard time finding something in Italy that I wanted. There's not a lot of trinket shopping for me there, anything I'm interested in. Tons of inexpensive candy. I don't do sugar, so that didn't work out. Although one year, my daughter and I went and we did do a candy around the world challenge, which is also really fun if, you know, you can do candy. Anyway, so I did find this Pinocchio. It's really cool and it actually bends, moves, and I thought it would be really nice for the Christmas tree. And let's see, and it is made by Geppetto himself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it is made in Italy, so that's awesome. And this little guy was only $5.95, and I do think he'll make a nice addition to our Christmas tree. The next pavilion is the American Adventure, 
and I didn't buy a souvenir there. I bought pulled pork for lunch, but I didn't buy a souvenir. I totally forgot about it. After the American Adventure is the Japan Pavilion, and they have the cutest stuff in that Japanese pavilion. I mean, it's just adorable. If you love kawaii stuff, you'll be in kawaii heaven there. They have everything from Pokemon to Sonic the Hedgehog to Hello Kitty. They have Monchi Chi. Please tell me in the comments that you guys remember Monchi Chi. Anyway, my favorite Japanese character is by Sanrio or San Sanrio, however you say it. And it is Gudatama the Lazy Egg. So they had tons of Gudatama stuff. Sorry, there's a dog hair on there. Uh, but I already have like a couple of little stuff to Gudatamas that my son has gotten me. And I don't really need another one. But I did want to get this little blind box that I think the Gudatama is dressed as other Sanrio characters. So yeah, I think that's what it is. So I'm going to open this in just a second. But I also picked up this cute little dish and I think it would be a nice ring dish or earrings or something like jewelry dish. And it was $4.95 and this little character was $4. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the blind box so I can see which one I got. I don't mind, I like all of them so it doesn't really matter to me which one I get. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness, they're tiny, 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 tiny. And it's this little monkey guy. I don't know who it is. And it is that guy. If anybody knows which character this is, let me know in the comment section below because I have no idea. I just know he's a cute Gudetama. I just realized that these actually hang off of your drinking glass. They hang, he would hang like this off of your cup. So that's really cute. Next to Japan is Morocco, and I had a hard time finding something in there as well. You used to be able to get tiles, and I got some of the prettiest tiles in there before. I actually am not sure where we put those, because I'm sure I could find a use for them. But anyway, I decided to go with this anklet. Yeah, another anklet. Totally not me, not something I would normally wear, but it's summertime, and I thought this was just so pretty. Look at that. I'm not going to put it on my anklet. ankle, <laughs> but I um, thought I'd just show you. I just thought this was super pretty, and I can't wait to try it. And this was $14.99. It's a bit pricier than the one from the China Pavilion, but this one is actually a much nicer quality. So, yeah, I really like this, and I like the stones in it as well. The next country is France, and every time I go to the France Pavilion, I come home with one of these. This is a cute little sachet filled with lavender, of course. They also have them filled with herbs de Provence, but I don't really like that. I like lavender. I have one of these in my dresser upstairs, and now I'm going to have two of them in my dresser upstairs. I love these things. They are $10.95. They are a bit pricey, but I love it, so I bought it. Also in France, I got a glass of wine. I couldn't tell you what kind of wine it was. It was red wine and it was dry and it was delicious. And it cost over $10, which I thought was crazy for the little tiny glass of wine I got in France. The next pavilion is the United Kingdom. And while I was there, they were giving out samples of this Twinings cold brewed iced tea in mixed berries. It was so good that I bought one and I think they were $5.95, about $6 for this. I don't know if that's a good price for it, but it tasted good and I got it. I also picked up this coin purse for me because I have all this loose change in my purse and I can just stick it in that. That was $9.99, I believe. I also got my husband something there. He did the Ancestry DNA and found out he's very British. So I got him this Union Jack tea towel. It's 100% cotton. It's pretty big. And I thought he could just use it in the basement as like a banner, you know, something like that, like a flag banner. And it was $11.95 and it seems like really nice quality. We're not going to be, like I said, using it as a tea towel, but just as a decoration. And the last country in the world showcase is Canada. I had a hard time finding something in the Canadian pavilion as well, 
but then I ran across this soap. They had lots of different varieties with different names, but this one I thought was hilarious. This is called Authentic Canadian Wilderness Beaver Butt Soap. And then there it says, it will focus, there's no damn beaver in this soap. They also had dog drool soap and ferret farts soap, which I don't know what that has to do with Canada or ferrets from Canada. Um, and a lot of other ones that I can't think. There was a bear one. I can't remember all of them now. And this one really smelled nice, which is why I picked it. And I got this for my husband as a joke. It's a magnet. It's $5.99. And it just says, I don't drink beer anymore. I don't drink it any less either. Wait, does this have a price? I don't remember. I think they're around $5. I don't know for sure. But that's the approximate price. So here are all the souvenirs I picked up at Epcot in my Epcot Around the World Souvenir Challenge. Let me know in the comments section below which of these items is your favorite. And also, if you've been to Epcot, which of the pavilions is your favorite? So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me, please. And subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video which is typically on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. In addition, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.